inorganic and organic compounds. Aims of lesson, at the end of the lesson the learner should know the following. The distinction between inorganic and organic compounds, with examples. The chemical formulas, structural formulas, Lewis structures, importance and functions of the following inorganic compounds. Water. Carbon dioxide. Mineral salts, such as sodium chloride slash table salt, and ammonia. The properties of the carbon atom, bond to the carbon atom, and organic substances. The basic grouping of organic compounds. Introduction. Pre-content of term 1 must be linked to the current content. Basic agricultural chemistry. Chemical bonds. The purpose of the following lesson is to discuss the content associated with the following. Inorganic and organic compounds. Concepts and skills. Inorganic and organic compounds. Inorganic compounds. Inorganic compounds are non-living. We can also say that it is not biological. Chemical reactions with inorganic compounds tend to be slower than those with organic. Compounds. Inorganic compounds have fewer carbon and hydrogen atoms than organic compounds. These types of compounds are typical of geological systems, which include rocks and minerals. Also, the inorganic component of soil, which is so important in agricultural sciences, consists of Inorganic compounds Common inorganic compounds include water, H2O, carbon dioxide, CO2, ammonia, and H3, and table salt, NaCl. Importance and functions of inorganic compounds Water Water is a solvent, mineral salts in the soil dissolve in water so that it can be absorbed by the plant roots. Gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen must be dissolved in water to penetrate. Body cells Chemical reactions All the chemical reactions in living organisms take place in water. Transport Water is important for the transport of substances in the body. For example, blood is the substance that transports most solutes in our bodies. Blood consists of about 50% water. The other 50% of blood consists of red and white blood cells and solutes. Reproduction All animals need water for reproduction. The male gametes, sperm, need water. To swim to the female gametes, ova. Animals such as fish and frogs reproduce in water. Body shape and support, the cytoplasm of cells consists mainly of water. Many simple animals, such as worms and snails, use water in the body cells to support their bodies. Plants also keep their shape and grow upwards thanks to the pressure that water exerts in the cells against the cell walls. Temperature control, plants and animals need water to keep their bodies cool. The sweat glands. In mammals produce sweat to prevent the animals from overheating. The sweat evaporates from the body surface and cools the animal. Plants lose water through their leaves, which helps cool the plant. This process is called transpiration. During transpiration, plants lose water in the form of water vapor through special openings in their leaves, called stomata. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas that makes up only about 0.03% of the atmosphere, but has an important function. Carbon dioxide is a source of the carbon that plants use during photosynthesis to make their own food. It is the main source of carbon in the organic compounds that make up the bodies of living organisms. It is also necessary to heat the atmosphere, in other words for the greenhouse effect. Without carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the temperature on Earth would be around minus 150 C, which is far too cold to sustain life. However, due to too much carbon dioxide in the air, we now have the problem of global warming. Global warming is causing climate change. Short-term climate change can have a dramatic impact on agricultural productivity. The climate therefore has a direct influence on food supply. Some agricultural scientists hope that global warming will bring greater agricultural yields due to the role of carbon dioxide in photosynthesis. However, most scientists predict that global warming will have detrimental consequences. Scientists have predicted a decrease of up to 20% in the rainfall of some regions in South Africa over the next 50 years. This will make large parts of the country unfit for agriculture. 
Mineral salts. Minerals are inorganic compounds that plants and animals need to stay healthy. Minerals are essential for the chemical reactions that play a key role in important life processes. Minerals are chemical elements such as sodium and calcium that exist mainly as mineral salts. Plants get their minerals from the soil. Minerals can also be supplied to plants in the form of fertilizers. Animals obtain mineral nutrients from the plants they eat. Macro elements are minerals that are needed in fairly large quantities by plants and animals. Micro elements are minerals needed in relatively small amounts. Ammonia. Ammonia is a gas that is produced as a waste product when proteins are digested. Ammonia is toxic to animals and must be excreted from the body. Ammonia is an important source of the element nitrogen, which plants and animals need to make proteins. Many fertilizers contain compounds made from ammonia, such as ammonium phosphate and ammonium nitrate. The fertilizers provide nitrogen and phosphorus P and potassium K, which are three essential elements for the growth of crops. In animals with a rumen, the ammonia can be used by bacteria to make proteins. Soil bacteria also use ammonia to make proteins. Legumes such as beans have bacteria that live in their roots and make proteins. This makes legumes a good source of food protein. Organic compounds Organic compounds form the chemistry of a large part of the living world, but their most important property is that carbon and hydrogen are present in large quantities. The molecules are covalently bound. The elements oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur are also often present in organic compounds. Unlike most inorganic compounds, many of the organic compounds that contain halogens or hydrocarbons react dramatically in chemical reactions, and some are very dangerous to human health and the environment. Common organic compounds include sugar or sucrose, C12H22O11, alcohols such as ethanol, C2H5OH, fats such as oil and margarine, and proteins such as meat and fish. Fats and proteins have very complex chemical formulas. Chemical and structural formulas. Chemical formulas. The use of a chemical formula indicates the following. The number and type of atoms in a compound and the number of atoms in a molecular element. In a chemical formula, the chemical symbol of each element is indicated by subscripts that tell us what the number or ratio of atoms in the compound or molecular element is. The subscript 2 in H2O tells us that there are two parts hydrogens to one part oxygen. Compound molecular element. Water H2O hydrogen H2 Carbon dioxide CO2 oxygen O2 Glucose C6H12 O6 Ozone O3 Sodium chloride and ACL chlorine Cl2 Magnesium Sulfate MgSO4 sulfur S Structural formulas The structural formula for a chemical compound differs from the chemical formula. It is a graphical representation of the molecular structure and shows how the atoms are arranged. The chemical bond within the molecule is also shown. Unlike chemical formulas or chemical names, structural formulas give a representation of the molecular structure. Molecular formula. Electron dot diagram. Structural formula. Lewis structures, carbon structures. Lewis column structures are diagrams that show the bond between the atoms in a molecule. It is a quick and easy way to represent the valence electrons of an atom. The structures consist of the symbol for the specific element surrounded by dots representing the valence electrons. A Lewis structure can be drawn for any covalently bonded molecule. Examples Water Ammonia Electron dot diagram Sodium chloride, carbon dioxide. Properties of the bonding of the carbon atom to other carbon atoms and organic substances. This is the sixth most common element. It plays a very special role in the chemistry of life. It is found in many different compounds and is common in the foods we grow. It can form chains, which means it can bind itself. Carbon can also form single, double and triple bonds with itself. It is relatively unreactive with several other elements. The total flexibility of the carbon bond structure results in many different shapes and proportions. 
All life is made up of organic compounds, and so carbon chemistry has its own name, organic. Chemistry Most pesticides used in farming are organic compounds. The basic grouping of organic compounds Functional groups Hydrocarbons Groups containing halogens Groups containing oxygen Groups containing nitrogen Groups containing sulfur Groups containing phosphorus Common characteristics of this group Contains only carbon and hydrogen Carbon-halogen bond Carbon-oxygen bond Compounds containing nitrogen may contain CO bonds Unique chemistry may produce more bonds than oxygen Unique chemistry may produce more bonds than nitrogen Examples of chemistry Class Alkanes Halo alkanes Alcohols Amides Sulfides Phosphates Examples Ethane Chlorine ethane Methanol Acetamide Methyl sulfonide Ophosphocholine Definitions in organic chemistry Functional groups are small groups of atoms, two to four, within a molecule that are responsible for certain properties of the molecule and the reactions in which it participates. Radical, it is the name given to two or more atoms that have joined together to form part of a molecule and that have at least one free, unpaired electron which will naturally make the radical extremely reactive. A hydroxyl is a functional group consisting of a single hydrogen and a single oxygen atom, OH that are bound by a single bond and have a negative charge. A carboxyl is a functional group consisting of a carbon atom attached with a double bond to an oxygen atom and with a single bond to a hydroxyl group. Monomers are small molecules that can chemically bond with other monomers to form a polymer. Mono equals 1. Polymers are compounds that consist of long, repeating chain atoms, such as beads on a String, poly equals many. Naming of organic structures. Number the carbon atoms in the longest chain and use prefixes. 1 meth, 2 eth, 3 prop, 4 but, 5 pent, 6 hex, 7 hept, October 8th. If a ring structure occurs, prefix cyclo, cyclopentane. Look for the presence of single, double, and triple bonds in the carbon chain. Halogens are attached as a prefix. Flow becomes fluoro. Chlorine becomes chloro. Bromine becomes bromo. Iodine becomes iodine. Activity slash assessment. Teacher must work out different activities for the learners to test whether they understand the learning. Content. Consolidation. The lesson covered the content set out in the CAPS document. Values. By studying this lesson, you should be able to know and understand the concept inorganic and organic compounds. Learners must understand what is covered in the content in order to successfully answer questions and the use of the necessary skills. Learners will be able to use the knowledge and skills as base for progression to the next week's lesson. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more future educational videos.